Uh, how must the two countries go about further cementing its uh, dynamic relationship unperturbed by other powerful players? Well, Sri Lanka has relationships with many countries around the world and will continue to develop those relationships. What I care about is our bilateral relationship. And I think looking back on the past 75 years, how deep and rich that relationship is. You know, I hear people telling me all the time in the 1960s, they used to receive these USAID biscuits mm -hmm. and they used to visit our American Center on Flower Road to read a book and to watch a movie in, in English. Now, 75 years beyond that, not only are we providing humanitarian assistance, we're providing great tools and capacity building to help the people of Sri Lanka. We've gone from one American center to four. We have one in Colombo, Matara, Kandy, and Jaffna. And just next week, we're about to open another American center um, up in Batikaloa. So the relationship that's evolved, uh, there's so much potential that goes beyond what we've seen in the past and how we can take it to the future. And that means investing in the young people as well. We have a number of youth forums, youth councils around the country. We held the Youth Summit this year in February in honor of our 75th anniversary. Mm -hmm. We have the Access English Language Program that gives free two-year English language and leadership classes for the underprivileged communities all around the country. These are the ways we really want to help build the relationships.